Earthbound is the epitome of a game you don't play, but why? The answer is simple. It seems like Nintendo just doesn't want you to. While filming this, it was announced that the ESRB rated Earthbound for the Wii. Is it for real? Or are they just teasing us Earthbound fans once again? Now, why is Nintendo so intent on not re-releasing Earthbound in the United States, or other countries for that matter? Is Earthbound not worthy? I think it is. It really bothers me that Nintendo of America hasn't acknowledged its Earthbound fans for so long. Try and try again, it sometimes feels like we are preaching on deaf ears. In Japan, the Mother franchise was and still is extremely popular, while in America, it's a total cult classic. I feel that Earthbound, or Mother, has all of the makings of a mainstream hit. Funny story about my first experience with Earthbound. So, I'm at Blockbuster, picking out a new game to play. I see Earthbound's shiny, huge box sitting at the top shelf, and I have to check it out. I get it home and immediately run downstairs, cartridge and guide in hand, and shove it into the Super Nintendo, turning the system on immediately. I then proceed to turn on the TV and... Yeah, I see the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my whole life. Scared out of my mind, I run upstairs bawling. My dad calms me down and then I finally get to see the true glory of Earthbound. I don't personally blame the consumers in America for not appreciating Earthbound's charm. How could I? Of course, at the time, conventional RPGs consisted of wizardry, knights, and dragons. But I don't think this difference is really the reason why Earthbound failed here. I blame Nintendo for the most part, for not marketing this game correctly. I can't honestly say I remember the game being marketed in a way that would make me want to play it. In fact, it went completely unnoticed by me until the huge box caught my eye back at Blockbuster. Let's start off with the marketing slogan in America. This game stinks. Now, just what sort of slogan is that, and what does it have to do with Earthbound? Really? Where did these guys come up with that? I personally hope the person responsible for this was fired. So, the back of the strategy guide came with scratch and sniff pictures and a sweepstakes. Yeah, I guess that's cool. But what does it have to do with Earthbound? That doesn't even make me want to play it, and I love the game. What a gimmick. For adults, children, and even young women. Now, this is a slogan for the game, and it's from Japan. It completely suits the game without spoiling anything about it. I find the statement to be completely true. My father loved the game, and he's an adult. I was a child when I first played it, and I loved it. I'm also a young woman, and... Wait a minute, I'm seeing a trend here. <laughs> Even so, Earthbound remains a cult classic. It is gaining popularity, though, with the help of Starman.net, the Super Smash Bros. series, and of course, by word of mouth from its loyal fans. If there were a Criterion collection for video games, Earthbound would definitely be in its library. In the beginning, I wasn't really interested in RPGs at all. Every single RPG I had tried to play prior to Earthbound couldn't hold my interest. The dialogue was boring, and the battle systems were annoying. Something about Earthbound, though. What is it? What makes us like certain games enough to call them our favorites? Good story? Playability? Maybe it's nostalgia? In my opinion, Earthbound holds all of these qualities and so much more. The first thing one might think about Earthbound is that it's a game for small children. While Earthbound is suitable for a younger age demographic, someone older can enjoy it too for completely different reasons. Simplicity in gameplay and graphics isn't all there is to this game. Earthbound has been referred to by industry insiders and gamers alike as being quirky, but I've always disliked this adjective. Yeah, it's a quirky game, but there's so much more to it than that. I often associate quirky with gimmick when it comes to video games, and while I do appreciate and love this genre of games, Earthbound goes way beyond that and is on a completely different level. I think I'll talk a little about my personal favorite things from Earthbound. 
I really like the way the game was written, and by that I mean the dialogue. Every single NPC has something cool to say, and it can be quite funny at times, while also relatable to your own personal life. Rather than your typical village banter from most RPGs of the time, Earthbound truly brings you into the game and lets you take a peek into the other characters' lives, if only for just a moment. It's just enough to make you feel a small connection with them. For instance, two characters are having a long-distance relationship between towns, Tucson and Threed. When you talk to the girl in Tucson, she tells you her boyfriend is in Threed and she misses him, but she can't visit because of the ghost guarding the tunnel. After clearing Threed of its zombie infestation, the girl in Tucson can finally come visit her boyfriend, but she's in for a surprise. It's little stories like these within the game that make it so charming, even though it has nothing to do with anything you're supposed to be doing in the game. Shigesato Itoi, the writer, creator, producer, and mastermind of Mother, did a really great job of putting you into his head, whether you realize it or not. From what I've read in the past, Shigesato Itoi wrote almost every single line of text in the game, minus Moonside. In these lines of text, we have a story of personal experience from this man's life. Rather than telling a story made of complete fantasy, where if you die, you're angry because you have to start over again from the last save point, but don't really care about the characters at all. Earthbound makes you feel more emotionally invested in the game, or story rather. While it is very subtle, it builds up over time and you begin to feel like the weight of the world is crashing over your shoulders near the end. You may experience a wide array of emotions while playing this game, and I feel this in itself is the reason to play it, if not anything else. The simplicity of character and world design in the game give it more personality than most games of the time in my opinion. While the characters show no emotion whatsoever on their faces, you can just tell how they're feeling, and you feel it too after speaking with them. Sometimes they can say the most depressing things you've ever read, while other times they can say something so hilarious you're laughing out loud. Ness can be extremely relatable. While he is a silent hero and does not speak once through the whole game, you can feel him. You can feel his loneliness in the beginning of the game. The camaraderie when a friend joins your party and the determination to save his friends, family, and anyone else on the planet. If you have a chance to play the game with the player's guide that was included, you definitely should. It's the most original game guide I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot. It's not really written like a strategy guide, but more like a travel guide, and while it does help you through the game, to me it serves more as a companion and extra reading material to make you feel even more connected to the game's world and its inhabitants. Newspapers, shop advertisements, and points of interest are some of my favorite things. Oh, and this one always cracked me up. There are many mature overtones to this game that might not be picked up on by younger players, but will definitely not go unnoticed by an older generation. Occult, zombies, the Beatles and Monty Python references, and sexual references, whether it be hetero or homosexual. Drug and alcohol references are present, while subtle, and are used by characters for self-exploration and mind expansion. These are just a few reasons I personally think you should play Earthbound, if you haven't before. And this is barely the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more to the game, and so many things that can be open to interpretation. You just need to experience it for yourself, because no one person can truly express this game's experience, whether it be in text or video. Believe the hype, it's all true. I'm not trying to say that Earthbound is better than your favorite RPG, or that I think it should be your favorite game of all time like it is for me. I'm just saying it's worth a playthrough. And I hope it doesn't have to come to this, but if Nintendo doesn't release Earthbound on the Virtual Console soon, I really can't blame you for downloading it illegally. I can't send you the ROM or tell you where to get it, so don't ask. Just pray for Earthbound, and if you've played before, you know exactly what I mean by that. <laughs>